guys what's up um sasha here so it recently dawned on me that i have not rapped with you guys in a minute um not like for real talk and i think part of that has to do with the fact that youtube is the bane of my existence the bane um i literally feel like this is harder than working out youtube is hard um but in any case, as usual, I got to do my weekly video. Uh, so I decided to just talk to you about something that I actually need some advice on. So if you have some advice, please leave it in the comment box below because I am definitely unsure of what to do. Um, and it'd be dope if you gave me some insight. Make sure you like, make sure you subscribe, make sure you share this video, share my page. Um, please. Story time. So the other day I'm in the gym and I decided that, you know what, it's been a while since I got my last um, body fat measurement. So let me go ahead and do that. So I walk up to the front desk and this is blink. Walk up to the front desk and I'm like, hey, do you guys have a caliper? And everyone's standing at the front like, uh, uh, and then I see a trainer and I go, oh, well, he'd know what I'm talking about. Now, the trainer, when I say this, turns around and goes, caliper uh caliper 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 uh yeah caliper uh yeah at this point my face is like a few minute passes and he comes back with the caliper and hands it to me and i'm looking at him like why are you handing it to me he then responds oh you want me to measure you okay i'm like yeah so we walk around the counter and we go and he starts doing the measurements now he tells me to just stand in one place and you know he starts pulling at my skin and doing all these things now let me backtrack real quick a caliper is a tool that's used to measure body fat by pinching on certain areas so for female there are certain areas and for men there are certain areas um which include the tricep you have your subscapular which is on your back super iliac crest um yeah, so there are quite a few areas. So he goes over and he starts measuring me. Now, the first thing that goes wrong is he's not measuring me in the right places. He's pretty much pulling in all sorts of random spots, places that I know are incorrect because I've had plenty of body fat measurements taken. Um, so at this point, I'm already like, is this what you do to everyone? So moving forward. He plugs in all the numbers into the computer and it gives him the reading that says my body fat percentage is at, is at I believe it's 28.8%. Now, for those of us who are not familiar with that, the normal range, like I would say a fit, like or you're okay range is like 20 to 25 is like, okay, you're in pretty good condition. Below 20 for a female, you're probably athletic. Um, and then upwards, like 25 and upwards to 30 is in that acceptable range, but you should do something about it potentially in the future as to not continue to have it go up. And over 30 is when you're considered uh, over overweight or obese. So now he tells me that reading and I'm like, it's wrong. This is my, in you know, instant response. Now, see, I'm not saying that this is some like, I didn't take it personal. This wasn't like, oh my gosh, I saw a number and I don't believe it. I have no problem if the number was accurate or show whatever. In fact, I expected it to be a little higher than last year because I have not been as diligent as I was and as rigorous with my activity and even as anal with my, the food that I'm eating now. So I expect it to be a little bit higher. But the reason why I knew it was wrong is because at 28.8%, this is higher than the number that I even, but before I even started ever working out. And for those of you who never saw me before I started working out, I've lost a significant amount of weight. So in losing all that weight, when I first initially started to work out, I got a body fat measurement. And even at my heavier point, I was still below 28.8%. So I'm like, buddy, you did this wrong. Now, 
he responds to me. The problem is you need to do more cardio. Cardio is the key to fat loss. Cardio? That's what you're telling me at this size. Cardio. Like just standard run for a long time cardio. If you haven't seen my thoughts on cardio or the most effective type of fat burning training, it's in one of my other videos, which is entitled What is HIT, um, which is high intensity interval training, which is what I currently do. And I'm telling him like, while the my body fat percentage probably is higher than last year, I already know the issue, which is just nutrition. I need to be more on top of my nutrition. So here is my concern and here's where I need your help. I was in a rush uh, when I asked the guy that. So I just ended up post us having this conversation dipping off. Um, but at the moment, I really wanted to speak to his manager because A, Blink is a gym that is the more affordable, you know, price friendly um, gym under Equinox and Equinox I have a lot of friends who train with Equinox and they're very on top of the the training that they give their trainers um just knowing everything body fat measurements total measurements just to see like what your range of motion is all of these things they're pretty on top of it as well as crunch and a lot of other gyms but blink falls under Equinox which is why I bring it up I figured that they would be pretty well versed in taking these body fat measurements and these percentages but and even the advice and the things that he said to me post that I just felt really bothered and concerned because for me I'm I would consider myself more well versed in the fitness and health realm but for the normal everyday person that's going to get a body fat measurement or something for it to be skewed on my end I know that it's skewed for someone else so they go in there and they hear that they have this higher than what it should be body fat percentage and then they're given information like they need to do more cardio when for someone at my size it would take a lot of cardio for it to really make a difference like standard cardio high intensity interval training different story um you know i told him i countered him and said well no weight lifting and doing body weight calisthenic moves those things make a vast difference and they help you burn a lot of fat and he's you know his response had to do with the guys in the gym that don't lose weight but lift a lot of weights and it's like no they don't lose weight because they're eating too much number one and because they do no cardio at all but i do high intensity interval training it's integrated into my workout so i know the problem's nutrition um so yeah i'm just feeling conflicted i don't know what to do because while i want to talk to his manager I've said hi to this guy like a million times in the gym and I don't want to get him in trouble. I don't like getting anybody in trouble. But then I don't want people getting wrong information. I don't want people's self-esteem being shot. I don't want them, I don't want to see a whole bunch of people doing non-stop cardio and moves that are not going to help them lose substantial actual weight, like real fat. They're going to be losing a lot of water weight and then they're gonna drink it back. And I, I I, just feel really conflicted, but I don't know what to do. So that is my dilemma. If you could help me out and put something in the comment box and let me know what I should do or what I shouldn't do or what you think about it. Is it trifling for me to, am I, am I snitching? Am I snitching? Am I telling on this guy? Or am I doing a service for the community? I don't really know. You let me know. Um, so that's it, I'm out and mwah!